Hello! You always wanted to make your own 3D prints? In this video, I'll show you how you can do the same thing. Hello! This is Zachary from Zachary High Tech. Like I mentioned in the intro, we are going to make a 3D model that is containing that more than one piece because you can also make some bigger models on a 3D printer, of course. Now I'm going to show you how you can do this. For this, you have to go to sites like Thingiverse or My Mini Factory. So as you can see um, on uh, Thingiverse, and here you can see uh, the, the site, I'm going to the thingy first side of course you we agree for the cookies so we are going to look for a model that is from like i said in the game uh, horizon zero dawn okay we can look but we can also use the search and then we are typing horizon zero dawn okay then I press enter and then we have some model the models that I the model that I'm going to use now for this particular uh, uh, 3d print is from uh, glue mesh and it's the watcher so well we press on it and then you see the image okay well you don't have to see me at this moment just go to here okay so as you can see this is an, an, an a picture or an image uh, like you <laughs> want to uh, maybe okay <laughs> just got it and this this is this uh, so this is the the image how the what you are going to look like then you have some parts that you need to 3d print okay so in this case we have five or the legs and this is how it's, it's going to look like okay we have the last one so now we are going to 3d print this so for to do this just, uh, I'm not, yeah here i am again so if you want to 3d print this you need to download all file files of course then we click on download all files and like you can see in the left corner we have the file it's a zip file the easiest thing to do in this case is just clicking on a show in folder now the folder is going to open so there we are going to so what you do if you have downloaded the, the file you take the file from the downloads then you press the right mouse button and you cho choose for copy and you paste it into the folder that you like to use for your 3d printing models well in my case i just already copied to it here you have the file then you right click on it and then you cho uh, you chose for unzip the file just like here well i'm dutch so here it says alles uitpakken so unzip all files then the dialog says to uh to put it in a folder with the same name as the zipped file so when it's done you got this file so it's exactly the same as the zipped folder but then unzipped okay then you double click on it and every what i have seen for a couple of months that i do 3d printing you always have a file with some images some uh some files of course uh, but also a readme file in the readme file Sometimes it says in which kind of settings, just a moment. 
Come on. Yeah, yeah. So the best thing is to open the readme file with a notepad. Uh, yeah, workpad, sorry. Yeah, there it is. So this is a, a piece of uh, um, information that you can use for your 3D printing. The most important things are the printer settings. In this case, you see that the, the person who made this file is using a, a XYZ DaVinci Junior 3D printer. So what it says, no roughs. So it means that you have an, enough surface on your model to to orient it like that that you don't need extra support that the model stays then you have the supports also no supports needed because there are no overhangs so no printing in mid air because that's also not not possible and then the resolution the resolution in this uh, readme file says uh, 0.3 millimeters so you can use 0.3 millimeters but you can also use uh, 0 0.2 millimeters for if you want to have a, a cleaner model and of course the last one is the infill infill uh, says like the model that i have here like this one this is infill so that means if you 3d print it yeah it looks solid but from the inside, it's not solid. It's filled with plastic so that it doesn't uh, lose it, its strength, but it is light enough, okay? So in this case, this is 20%, uh, percent, okay? So here the infill says 10%, but of course you can also say, well, make 30% or if you want to have a massive model, it costs more plastic, but why should you use more plastic if you have something like this where you not can see the inside? Okay, makes sense. Well, for me, it makes sense. So also post printing and all other things. I don't know why it says like this, but you can find out for yourself if you like to see more of this. Okay, so well. We are going to look at the files. So like you see, I don't know which language, th language this is, but it contains of 12 different parts. So now we are going to start the slicer software. In my case, I'm going to use Cura. Cura is from uh, uh, Unimaker just scrolling down a bit yes yeah uh ultimaker cura whoa and uh, yes now the program is going to to open and now i'm going to show you how to uh, orient all parts so that you can make one big printing you can also use bigger uh, models, but then it means that um, you have to take it off, then restart printing. So my objective for to this video is make one print for all parts. And when it is done, you can uh, glue the, uh, the parts together and then you have your one print model. So, okay. This is Cura, and now we are going to load all uh, parts, all parts of the. So we open the folder 3D models. So the what are we going to do? And of course we can try to put all things on the print bed. Let's see what happens. So, and then open. 
see what happens. So like you can see, if I don't do anything, the printer, uh, the, the program just drops everything on the bed and it should be okay. Well, if you can see, it's not okay because if I, I am going to print this, uh, print it like it is now, then I need supports and I also need adhesion to the print bed or else nothing will stick to the bed, of course. Okay, so let's start with the easiest to do. We have flat surfaces. Just click here and try to rotate it, lay flat. Will it do it? No, it just uh, tries to, yeah, I don't know what he was going to do. Normally, it should be possible that if you say, well, this is the flat surface, it doesn't work. So, normally it should work, but in this case, I need to orient, orient it myself. So, okay, now I have to arrange all, uh, all parts that everything can be printed and also that uh, uh, the extruder doesn't uh, doesn't have to travel that much okay so now I'm going to rearrange everything this part everything is arranged to my opinion it should be okay um, it's not too close to the uh, to the outer uh, lines and uh, everything is as close as possible to to the to the middle and now we are going to use some settings well I've got a on models uh, so that means 0 0.2 millimeters 20% infill, the instruction says just 10% will be enough. Uh, also, um, support, it's off. Well, no support is really needed because everything is laying flat and it's on the building plate. So that means no roughs, just like in the description in the readme file. So this is all set now we are are going to slice it this one why not look at it so when it slices it's going to tell you exactly how much printer uh, 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 material you need in my case it's still s slicing just a moment um yeah the print is going to be 11 hours and 20 minutes how heavy is going to be it's weighing not even 90 uh, grams and it uses 28.97 meters of filament now i'm going to look to my filament uh, i'm not a psychic i'm not going to guess how much is on there but I believe that this model is going to be printing just fine. So save to file because I'm using Octoprint, so I need to print it as a G code on a file. And this file I'm going to save on my Octoprint. And then I'm going to start printing. So all files I'm going to put 
in the right folder so that I can find it back but also I'm going to name it uh, give it a name so that I know when I'm going to start the print what is going to be printed in this case it's going to be from the watcher I'm not going to put it in the site inside the files itself so I just put it here horizon zero dawn and then watcher watcher so and then i'm pressing save so it's now saved on the uh, uh, on the file the only thing that i need now need to do is send it to my 3d printer and then start 3d printing So this was the first part of how to 3D print a model and especially from Horizon Zero Dawn, the watcher. As you could, could see, you have many parts to 3D print, but you can use the whole bed volume to 3D print all parts. So question, what do you like to 3D print? Leave it. In the question below in the comments okay if you're new to this channel and you like this video please like but also subscribe and put on the notifications by hitting the bell thanks for watching and see you in part 2 of this serie 3d printing and how to make your own model thanks for watching and peace